It has to be recalled that the U.S. government suspended Ethiopia from African Growth and Opportunity Act AGOA privilege. Ethiopian government and the people expressed their dissatisfaction upon the disingenuous decision of the U.S. government. Zamadina Negatu, who is an economics scholar during his stay with Obi and Horn of Africa, says, though Ethiopia is banned from AGOA privilege, the duty-free opportunity granted by China for African nations would compensate AGOA. So China is, in the next five years, going to become the world's largest economy. Already the Chinese consumers are amongst the largest spenders. So there is an opportunity for China. Uh, in, in a very interesting kind of way, you can see Chinese manufacturers setting up manufacturing facilities in Ethiopia to export back perhaps to China. I mean, that's, it may seem a bit you know, out of the thinking box when, when we discuss this today, but it is it is quite possible because China is outsourcing and moving certain production facilities out of China because Chinese labor is expensive. China has become very affluent, so they may not want to do. Yes, a lot of it is going to their neighbors, setting up factories in Vietnam and Bangladesh. But quite a lot of it can also come to, to Ethiopia. Meanwhile, the Great Homecoming Challenge, initiated by Prime Minister Dr. Rabi Ahmed, could have multi benefits. I'll answer that by using examples of other countries that have actually tap into the enormous diaspora base that they have, the Indians and the Chinese, okay? Uh, here in the United States, we have very large Indian community uh, who've successfully uh, integrated into the American economy, now contribute to the growth of India. The Chinese have done the same thing. Ethiopian diaspora, especially here in the United States, is very large, okay? Uh, by some estimates, it could be about a million. Uh, that's one, uh, economic power. Two, the knowledge that they have uh, by residing in this country, by doing business in this country, by being educated in this country, could benefit tremendously Ethiopia's future. Zamadena reiterated that war triggered by the terrorist TPLF has brought huge economic crisis and revamping the distracted and vandalized resources in our foreign Amhara regional states has to be fixed soon so as to bring victims to normalcy. From the reporting that, that I've seen, um, I, I think there's a significant amount of investment is needed uh, to rebuild uh, areas that have been affected uh, by the conflict. Okay, if you remember earlier, I mentioned that uh, post-conflict uh, uh, investments are needed yeah. across the country, by the way, okay? But also in certain parts of the country that you mentioned, there will be um, some specific uh, reconstruction investment required from basic services to manufacturing facilities, other things. So that will have to happen. And this is why I think the Ethiopia's international development partners uh, will have to engage with the Ethiopian government because just domestic resources alone would not be sufficient for that.